an interesting algebra question to solve. So we are asked to find the value of x. So how do we do that? First, x is the same thing as 2 to the power of um, 8 is equal to 2 to the power of 3. And um, 6 is equal to 2 multiplied by 3. Okay? So we write this as 2 to the power of 3 raised to the power of x minus 2 to the power of x divided by 2 multiplied by 3 to the power of x minus 3 to the power of x is equal to 2. Now, if you look at this, remember, remember that a to the power of m raised to the power of n is equal to a to the power of m multiplied by n. So we can write this as 2 to the power of 3 times x, which is 3x, minus 2 to the power of x, divided by, now when you have a, b, raised to the power of x, is equal to a to the power of x multiplied by b to the power of x. Okay? So we have 2 to the power of x multiplied by 3 to the power of x minus 3 to the power of x. So remember, 3x is equal to 2x plus x. Okay? So we can write this as 2 to the power of 2x plus x minus 2 to the power of x divided by 2 to the power of x multiplied by 3 to the power of x minus 3 to the power of x is equal to 2. Now when you have a to the power of m plus n is actually equal to a to the power of m multiplied by a to the power of n. So we can write this as 2 to the power of 2x multiplied by 2 to the power of x minus 2 to the power of x divided by 2 to the power of x multiplied by 3 to the power of x minus 3 to the power of x is equal to 2. So you notice that we have 2 to the power of x here and 2 to the power of x here. Then here we have 3 to the power of x here and 3 to the power of x here. So let's factorize. So for the numerator, let's factorize 2 to the power of x. Now when this is divided by this, this will remain. Minus, when this is divided by itself, we have 1. Divided by, we, bracket, we bring out 3 to the power of x here. When this is divided by this, this will remain. When this is divided by this, 1 will remain. It's equal to 2. Is it the first time you are seeing this amazing channel? Please click the subscription button and turn on the notification bell. Alright, so that anytime we upload a new video, you will be notified. Give us a thumbs up if you're actually enjoying this video. Turn it at your convenience. You must see something new to watch by the grace of God, okay? Now let us solve. Looking at this, we have 2 to the power of x multiplied by, remember that 2 to the power of 2x, that is a to the power of mn, is equal to a to the power of m raised to the power of n, and also equal to a to the power of n raised to the power of m. So it means that we can take one as, bring it in as the power and leave the other one outside. So if we do that here, let's take x in and bring 2 out, so that we have 2 to the power of x all squared. Minus, now 1 is sent in as 1 squared, divided by 3 to the power of x multiplied by 2 to the power of x minus 1 is equal to 2. Now, when you look at this, notice that we have difference of 2 squares. a squared minus b squared is equal to a minus b multiplied by a plus b. So, we can write this as 2 to the power of x multiplied by, this will be 
2x minus 1 and 2x plus, sorry, 2 to the power of x minus 1 and 2 to the power of x plus 1. Everything divided by 3 to the power of x multiplied by this is equal to 2. Now, when you look, you will notice that we have 2 to the power of x minus 1 and 2 to the power of x minus 1. So, that we divide each other to give us 1. We are left with 2 to the power of x multiplied by 2 to the power of x plus 1 divided by 3 to the power of x is equal to 2. Now, let us cross multiply. So if we cross multiply, then we have so we have 3 to the power of x multiplied by 2. That is 2 multiplied by 3 to the power of x is equal to 2 to the power of x bracket 2 to the power of x plus 1. Okay? Now let us divide by 2. Let's divide both sides by 2. So we have 2 multiplied by 3 to the power of x divided by 2 is equal to 2 to the power of x bracket 2 to the power of x plus 1 divided by 2. So this we divide this way. We are left with 3 to the power of x is equal to 2 to the power of x multiplied by 2 to the power of x plus 1. Now, if we decide to change this, this is the same thing as multiplied by 2 to the power of minus 1, right? Yes, because this is the same thing as multiplying by 1 over 2. And 1 over 2 is 2 to the power of minus 1. Okay. So, we have 3 to the power of x is equal to, now remember that 2 to the power of x multiplied by 2 to the power of minus 1. We are going to pick one base and we add the powers, okay? So, we pick one base here, which is 2, and we add the powers, which is x minus 1. Then, multiplied by 2 to the power of x plus 1. Now, let x be greater than or equal to 2. Notice that this place will give us what? Odd. Because 3 to the power of x will definitely give you an odd number. Now this will give us what? This one will give us even. And this one will give us odd. And you know that even multiplied by odd will give you even. And odd cannot be equal to even. So there will be no solution for this. Okay? No solution. Now, let x be equal to 1. So we have 3 to the power of 1 is equal to 2 to the power of 1 minus 1 multiplied by 2 to the power of 1 plus 1. Okay? We have 3 is equal to 2 to the power of 0 multiplied by 2 plus 1. So we have 3 is equal to 1 multiplied by 3. So you can see that 3 is equal to 3. So this implies that 1 is a solution. 1 is a solution, okay? Alright, here we have 3 to the power of x is equal to 2 to the power of x minus 1 multiplied by 2 to the power of x plus 1. Alright, so we have gotten one solution that x is equal to 1, okay? x is equal to 1. Now, let x be a negative number. So let x be equal to minus n, okay? Negative. If that happens, then this will be 
3 to the power of minus n is equal to 2 to the power of minus n minus 1 multiplied by 2 to the power of minus n plus 1. Okay? Now, we have 3 to the power of minus n is equal to 2 to the power of minus n plus 1. Right? Then, 2 to the power of minus n plus 1 as well. Now, let's continue. Don't get tired. We are almost done. Okay? Now, remember that A, when you have x to the power of minus 1 is equal to 1 over x. Okay? So, 3 to the power of minus n is equal to 1 over 3. And this is 1 over 2. Raise to the power of this. This is 1 over 2 to the power of n. So, let's go ahead and bring those negatives down. So, we have 1 over 3 to the power of n is equal to 1 over 2 to the power of n plus 1. Then, multiplied by 1 over 2 to the power of n plus 1. Okay? So, we have 1 over 3 to the power of n is equal to 1 over 2 to the power of n plus 1. Multiplied by... Now, this is 1 over 1. All right? If we solve this, the LCM is 2 to the power of n. Now, 2 to the power of n divides this. We have 1. 1 times 1 is 1. Plus, when this divides this, we have 2 to the power of n times 1. We have 2 to the power of n. So, we have 1 over 3 to the power of n is equal to 1 over, now this times this will give us 1 plus 2 to the power of n, or you say 2 to the power of n plus 1, divided by, now this times this, we have 2 to the power of n plus 1, multiplied by 2 to the power of n. Now, if we apply the law of exponents, this will be 2 to the power of n, multiplied by 2 to the power of 1, right? Then multiply by 2 to the power of n. Then if we solve for that, we pick one base, right? Then we add the powers. We add the powers, which is n plus 1 plus n, which is 2n plus 1. So the whole of this denominator will give us 2 to the power of 2n plus 1. Alright, now let us cross multiply. Let's cross multiply. So if we do that, we have 3n multiplied by 2n plus 1 is equal to what? 2 to the power of 2n plus 1. Now, 3 to the power of n will give you odd, right? Now, 2n plus 1 will definitely give you odd. Because this will give you even, but once you add 1 to it, you get odd. And this, no matter what you have as your power, and 2 to the power of your power will always give you even. Now, odd multiplied by odd will give you odd. And odd is not equal to even. So it means that the only value of x that we have is that x is equal to 1. Okay? Now let us verify. Now if we do that, we have x to the power of 1 minus 2 to the power of 1 divided by 6 to the power of 1 minus 3 to the power of 1. Is this actually equal to 2? So we have 8 minus 2 is 6. 6 minus 3 is 2, right? Is 3, sorry. Now, is this equal to 2? Yes, 6 divided by 3 will give you 2, and you can see that 2 is equal to 2. So that proves that the answer we got is right. Thank you so much for watching. See you in my next video. Bye.